Hey guys, swinging in here again at the end of March to do my channel shout out for the month. And this theme is the letter B. Yes, we're kind of going down to Sesame Street sort of antics with this, but these three actually are the first three subscriptions I ever got on YouTube. These are the first channels I ever subscribed to and I'm still subscribed to them. They're the only ones that have lasted throughout all of the 14 years I've been on YouTube now. I've been on YouTube since 2006 and these guys were the first ones I ever subscribed to. So without further ado, let's talk about some of the oldest channels I know. First one being Blame Society. Now, if any of you remember who this is, do you guys remember Chad Vader? You remember that series about Vader's brother running a grocery store? It's funny how few people remember this because this was one of the most popular channels on YouTube at one point because of this. They even did a cover of Chocolate Rain. It was a really fun series. It had some cool, funny antics. The story writing was actually pretty decent. I don't even know how they were able to film all of this in a grocery store. And the fact that they had a loyal cast and very decently well acted characters for a YouTube sitcom, I thought that was quite impressive and I'm still impressed. Admittedly, the high days of Chad Vader are long, long, long gone. And it's just the two main guys who do different videos talking about board games, kind of fan reactions. They also do uh, reviews of older movies. They're the guys who actually gave uh, my friend and I the inspiration to review um, Tough Guys Don't Dance. They were the ones who first reviewed it, and I even make a reference to it in the review of that video was that you guys should watch their version. They do a lot of really funny little antics about different movies, so I would definitely suggest you guys check them out. Number two is Blunty. Blunty actually, again, this guy, I actually subscribed to him for a different reason, is he did some Lego music videos. Uh, bop, bop. Something, something I can't remember it's got several million views that came out at the beginning of his channel but ever since then it's literally just a kind of Kevin Smith looking Australian guy who talks about tech talks about video game consoles the guy has been consistent on YouTube ever since it started and I'm very impressed by that considering just the pedigree and the length of his channel's uh, lifespan the fact that he just keeps going as though it's just every day I'm always impressed with that. I admittedly don't watch as much of his videos as I used to, but if you're ever looking for really good tech reviews or good insights onto tech, I would definitely suggest Born T. And then finally, number three. This is actually probably one of my favorite YouTube channels of all time. These guys were the first ones I ever subscribed to, and it's the Bentley Bros Production. These brothers, I, I can't remember how many there are. There's, at first I thought there was four, then I think there's five. These guys, have been making videos on YouTube ever since the beginning. And they've definitely become more sparing with videos in the last little while, obviously because they all have lives now, but their first videos were extraordinary. They made their own film version of Resident Evil 4 and it's probably one of the most popular video game parody videos I feel that's ever been made by actual people, just regular everyday people because you can see how it was shot. These guys somehow made a 42 minute video <laughs> and it was originally a link 24p but it's a great parody of resident evil 4. they would also do videos of the other resident evil movies they would do other horror movies and other little shorts all in their house that which was so funny is that all the stories took place somehow in their house or in their backyard and i just loved it i loved all of the aspects of uh, what they put together and this all collective love for making little films and making stories. And that's the reason why I still am subscribed to them. They haven't made a video in a little while, but I know that they're trying to come back. Um, they even have their own Facebook group now. So if you guys ever want to check these guys out and you want to go down a memory lane, a very good nostalgic memory lane, I would definitely check out the Bentley Bros production and look for Resident Evil 4 because it's still really fucking funny. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I hope you guys enjoyed these shoutouts. Please check out these channels. Please subscribe to them. Give them your support. I bet that would be much appreciated for all of them. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.